I'm here. Screw the intro. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We already spent longer than I was hoping for. But that's okay. Two hours talking about anime. That's okay. It is. We can continue our anime talk, too. But anyway. We're back with Master Buck. Master Fucker. Thing code eight zero zero eight. All right. Do I have thing? progressed enough in the story to do this. You have it? No, I haven't been playing Iceborne. But you progress further? Oh, it's the oh. next thing. Okay, um, for you, what does it say? Accept absolute power and smash and cross counter. And search Volcana Prex, which are done. What the hell? That's, that's, that's what I'm on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it literally said I couldn't. I mean, I can... Why don't you try posting it and I'll see if I can join you. I didn't make a password. I didn't know. Awesome. Good job. I'm able to request assigned. You cannot join because you have not progressed enough in the story. Fine. I'll post the same quest and then we'll see how far we go. <laughs> Maybe we have to see a video or something. Good. No, 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 no. No one can join me. Alright. Whatever. Nothing eat. Already ate. Weird. Alright. A Tigrex. It's a whole new world. It's a whole new place I never knew. Give me your tracks. Give me all your tracks. You're probably leading me to the other. Well, I want food. I'll take footprints of everything, though. I guess we'll just continue. I don't know if continuing this way gives me tricks. Or if it's back that way. But I don't mind hunting a rattle bomb. going for you. Put it on track.
<sighs> so how's it going over there? Quiet. Hello, free muted again. Shut up, Kajaga. I want your ass. Nobody wants your ass. Oh, here we go. Run us loose. Stand my ground. Lizard breath. Ah, I can now summon. I can now summon. Just saying that I need a witness because. Of that. Oh. oh, hello. Wow. Fucking murder me already. Root! Rude, dude, booed. talking I don't
ran into the animation. Come on. Can you heal? You're destroying me. Hello? What happened? You haven't talked much. Or are you? Can you even hear me? Swing constantly. Oh, what the fuck? I can't. What is happening? All right, I'm back. I fixed it. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm here. Let's go kick this thing's butt. Um. So, I have no idea. No, my... I accidentally rolled over my USB cord um, for my uh, USB hub, and it unplugged. And I plugged it in, but it takes a while to load back up because it uses actual power to run everything. And I lost... I, I, I joined your... I was joining your game. Um, I did have my microphone muted, though. And then when I rolled over the plug, pretty much lost everything. <laughs> I couldn't see on my end or anything. My TV was black. Anyway, I'm here. Let's go kick some T T Rexes. And how is he? Is he hard? He's kicking my ass. Great. Like, I don't. I may not know his timing at all, but no. I, I gotta. I gotta get better at focusing on doing do, doing a flurry of attacks. But half the time when I was trying to dodge him, he fucking headbutt or they bites at me and then charges a bunch like i'm just bad at my dodging has never been great in monster hunter but i'm gonna follow you because i don't know where he's at oh, he's right here oh okay. but my timing has never been great in monster hunter but this guy is literally fucking battering me back here. yeah i should have brought my freaking thing for me to focus doing a few attacks because that's not my playstyle in Monster Hunter. Yeah. Where'd he go? Behind you. Oh, hit me with a rock. See, like I go to swing and I'm in it. I'm locked in it. Right, and then he does the charge. Okay. Yeah, he shoots boulders, and has a tail swipe. Oh, oh. no! And this guy that has sword. apparently. Yeah, this thing is fucking wrecking me. Oh no! What are you supposed to fight you? And I expect oh. that. I expect not to be great at first. 
I, I normally don't have too much hard time dodging certain attacks. This guy, I'm not. Plus, I don't know, I'm just not good. It's my, it's my playstyle. I like to swing a bunch, and I'll tank hits. Oh, I get that. I I have no problem with tank tanking the good. Like, you tanking hits or anything like that. It's just this guy. What the hell? I don't know, dude, like, one attack, and he, like, he hit me, and then as I was getting up, he, like, hit me. He hit me with boulders, and then, yeah, he did that thing where he goes forward, and he's like, arm, arm. <laughs> Great, just another guy meaning you have to try to learn. What? Don't be hitting with the side you. Uh, oh, you hit me with your... I, I want to he learn. He hit me with nothing. I know. Oh my I... god! And I want to learn, but I feel... Oh god. Come on, turf war. Good. And there's definitely people out there that are, like... Wreck these things and are really good. With, uh, with... I'm not that. Never will be. Like, dodging everything and all that, but... Uh, I just feel like this just makes me... It just... It upsets me when I'm just getting destroyed. Uh, it's, it's I just feel like I need to be better. I want to put on a better... I want to put on a better show. That's my... That's my anxiety. Like, if I feel like I'm not doing well, I feel like I'm just terrible. And then I don't like my stream. But that's just my stress. That's just how I am. Well, I mean, not that it's... Not that it's true! Because people can enjoy it regardless of how bad I do. Well, some people like to watch other people fail. Um, like, I personally don't care if someone's failing. I personally don't like it when I constantly fail on him. I want to be, I want to be, I need to be perfect in order for me to, be, to consider my streams good. And unfortunately, I don't think any of my stuff is good. That's me. Because I have performance anxiety. Whenever I'm failing, I don't like it. I need to be good for people. That's the problem with being a performance on camera. But I also do worse under pressure and when I'm being watched. Ironically. Can this stupid dog go away? She don't mind the dog. The no, exactly I do. Not at all. The dog was in my way the whole time. Right now, he's being an annoyance. Because he's in my way. And he's fucking hitting me. I'd rather him go away. And I don't want the help with a first fight. I don't want him here. It's the crutch, man. Yeah, he's getting rocked. <laughs> yeah, and I'd rather not. I'd rather be the one who's doing that. Not some other outside force from another another enemy. I'd rather him not be getting wrecked like this. I don't like that. I really... I really don't. Because I want to be the one to actually beat these things. Because I don't consider it a victory. That's why I try to avoid playing with people who are really high level or really good. I want to be able to beat these on my own for my first time. And then I'll start focusing on playing with them, like red. That's just how oh, yeah. I am. Cause then it's you're getting you're getting carried, and I don't like that feeling. And that's what that thing was just doing, carrying. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can I can join a random person's game to fight the what you call it the the dude that we the behemoth. Like I could join someone's random game to fight him. That's no problem. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to fight him. And I want to try one. our mission and beat it. Beat it either by myself or with you or with and with supply oh, or whatever. And maybe. Direct. <laughs> or maybe with a few other people that are part of my, you know, community. Oh, yeah, like for somebody, that's fine. yeah, or, you know, part of my community. Oh, vine trap, nice. I didn't know there was a vine trap here. I didn't either. It's not good. You have any time to build up my thing. Uh... Oh, you go. First key's going back. Alright. You did. You did now. Down, down. Be like Peach from Smash Brothers. Yeah. My son is just like, why are you so good at Smash Brothers? I'm like, I don't know, I've been this forever. And he's like, but well, you're so good. And I was like, yeah, I was like, Brett was Mark and I was Roy. And I'm like, we would just wreck everybody. He's like, but how? I was like, years and years of practice. But I'm not even that good at fighting games. I was never that good. 
And even amounts of practice for, for games that I'm not proficient in will never get me better. So I can't play online for hundreds of hours and expect to get better in a fighting game. It'll never happen. I don't have the hands for that. I don't have the dexterity for fighting games. I don't even really... I'm really not even that great a monster hunter, but... I enjoy it. Yeah, I just... There's... I guess it's hit or miss with me when it comes to fighting games. Like, I love fighters, it's just the combos are so... They're, they're, they're the same as, like, other older fighting game combos. Four half quarters, yeah. full quarters, circle, whatever. I'm just not good at pulling them off in, in battle. Like, I was never yeah. good at pulling stuff off in battle in any fighting game. That's because of the pressure, and I'm bad under that pressure. Oh. Got his tail! Yeah. Oh, nice. Guy, nice. don't smack me with your stub. Hi, bring it down. Stub. Mr. Stub. Mr. Fluffy Fluffer. Rukata. Wucha. Yeah, See, go like ahead and leave. Me, like, when me and you were together, we're fine. It just, yeah. When this guy... Well, I was... I just need to learn him yet, but, like, yeah. yeah, he was just... I'm bad when they batter me back and forth like that, but also, like, I just... I gotta find a way to, like, not lock myself into attacks. But unfortunately, yeah. these games, that's just how they are, or how I am with it. I don't... Yeah, if, this was, if this was more Dark Soulsy, I would play more attack once or twice but this is different i like to right, attack and like, do combos yeah this is like keep hitting the monster until it dies versus like dark souls where you know okay i'm gonna hit you once and i gotta dodge because i'm running out of stamina like we hardly use stamina but unfortunately yeah and unfortunately i don't know where to dodge to like i'm trying to dodge it and he's hitting me like right there like even though i definitely rolled right into it but there's a few other attacks that he's doing, and I'm just getting hit because he's constantly doing it. And I'm getting, I'm still recovering from another thing, and he's battering me further. Um, over here by me. Take this oh bigger God. station. Ah, go away. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. I had my, had my animal drop dead. Wow. Like right now, he's being rather annoying. Yeah. All right. Like I'm fine when they move. But I hate it when they move back and forth like that, and they just charge and charge and charge. I, I've never. That's oh. just annoying. Yeah, I got another bigger wash station down in case you need it. It's over here. Oh, half the time he hits me, I'm recovering. Holy crap! That jump. Ow. not particularly bad, it's just, man, I need to work on it. But I've, I'm also just don't think I'm naturally gifted at video games either. Like, some people are. Some people can be very phenomenal. I've games. seen people play Monster Hunter World, and I've seen them wreck, like, super hard bosses and, like, a couple of, like, combos, and I'm just like, like, really, yeah, like, I'll never, three minutes? I don't oh care to God. do that. Like, I would like to, but I'm never gonna get that good anyway. I like my playstyle, it's my playstyle. That unfortunately affords me the fact that I'm never gonna be that powerful at anything. So that's why I get hit a lot. And I gotta just not, I, I just gotta not worry about trying to put on a better show. But unfortunately that is just how I am. Well, yeah, it, I wanna feel like I got the credit and credibility. Right. Well, that's, I mean, everybody's got their way of feeling about things. Like, my, my boss at work, if the job's not done the way he wants it done. Like, we can do the job right and have no problems, but if, we, but if it's not the way he wants it done right, like, if, like, say, say if he wants... So, like, when I die the blocks, anything past 10 minutes is pretty much, like, overkill on dying the blocks. Uh, it's not gonna get any darker. He wants me to leave black and to die for 20 minutes. It's not gonna get any darker than if it's in there for 10 minutes. I'm like, dude, it's 10 minutes.
minutes it's done, you think, but I want it done this way. Like, okay. I, I don't blame him for the way he is. Like, that's just, you know, that's a preference that he didn't build on it, and that's fine. Like, everybody's got their own preference. Um, there's certain games that I play, and... Like, when I play... Uh, when I used to play Call of Duty, I didn't want to play with anybody online. I played against robots for the multiplayer because I don't want to listen to little kids screaming at me for shooting them. It's, you want me not to shoot, you don't play the game of shooting. Yeah. You know how that is, the don't hit me! And it's like, dude, what are you playing? Like, I remember I was playing Call of Duty against some kid and he was just like, you shot me in my face! Yeah, or with a shotgun. <laughs> I mean, look at Supply. He cusses out people. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and it doesn't matter who did it first. Don't do it. If it's a kid, he's yeah. gonna he's gonna sit there and complain to his parents, and he's gonna get you bumped dead. Yeah. It doesn't matter yeah. if they did it first, whether he's an adult or not. Even if it's an adult, and if they don't like what you say, they're gonna they're gonna sit there and report you. It don't matter. Oh my God! What would you do? Nothing. I was getting shit. I was healing. Well, what? A, okay. Take it I was healing and collecting a T Rex material. So I there. I knocked him down. Well, Somehow, that. unless that was you, but I hit him and he fell. No, well, that was me. No, he. I was. I was walking up behind you, and then he was just walking and just leaned over and he fell, and I was like, okay. Well, that that first fall, I don't know. Oh, he's I was dead. getting he's shit. dying already. Holy crap. That, like wow, that, we that, that first fall, I don't know what happened. That second one, yeah, I bro, hit him and he fell the over. Second one, no, the second one, you hit him because I was... Uh, the second one, you hit him because I was doing the shield thing. I was putting my uh, files into my charge blade. And I can't attack in the animation. So, no, you hit, you hit his legs and tripped him down. But no, that first one, he was like walking at you and then he just like leaned over and I'm like, what? Yeah, because I was healing and collecting things. Uh, it's not good. He was falling asleep. Uh oh. I don't have any traps, do I? Uh, oh. Come oh, my way, T-Rex man! Jeez. You're mine. What? What? Okay, maybe you're not dying. Damn it. I thought he was. I thought he was. He was looking. Yeah. But I didn't see a skull like him. Then again, I didn't look. Well, there goes I three train bombs. Hey, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Oh, I think I'm that's alright. That's alright. I was, I, I was I, able to shield at the last minute. Well, I have a commod. I, I have yeah. a commodity of these things. I just got to make more because I did give supply quite a bit, but I can. They're easy to get. I can yeah. harvest them at the very least. I, 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 I yeah. come on. Oh, God. Yeah, I've I've come on and I've seen supply online and he's like. I understand, like, with you playing other games, you know, that's, that's fine. Like, even playing, like, Half-Life 2 and Monster Hunter Rise, that's fine. So, like, I come on and he's playing Grand Theft Auto 5, and I'm just like, dude, the Monster Hunter World, like, the weak monsters just boost up yourself. Okay, you now he's like, dying. Ah! Yeah, I know, he doesn't want to... I don't know why he... I think he gets into that mode where he only wants to play with us. I'm, I'm cool with that, too. I mean, yeah, that's, that's... Same with Sekiro! Game. Like, he never works at it! Oh, come on, get up. Come on, over here, you bitch! Yeah, he, like, never oh, works, got, and then he complains... Right. And then he complains that he that he can't beat Sekiro, or, you know, whatever. Or, you know, he can't beat certain bosses in Sekiro. It's because you... He, he fights a boss, like, three or four times, gets pissed, leaves, farms, and then farming is not gonna do you much, because he rarely uses the skills that he's farming for. Even if they're yeah. passives, like the heal passives or whatever, that's not going to really help you. You can also go fight other mini bosses for the prayer beads to get more health or strength for actual boss fights if you can find any. That's right. not going to help you if you can't already learn a boss's moves. Yeah. And then he gets uh, pissed yeah. off and quits. Like, you need to... Here's the reason why I've beaten Souls and stuff. I've stuck on that boss. Even if it's taken me a few hours. And I've oh, learned you... them. Granted, yeah. I'm still shady. I still get wrecked by them time to time. But I've, that's why I beat the final boss of Sekiro again after maybe a few deaths because I freaking already have his moves to an extent down and I know my right. abilities to fight them. I just got to get that like skill I mean, back. 
when you knew played souls and those stupid snakehead guys and you're like you got to get used to parrying them what i do i took like a good like 10 minutes got them down and i'm like we're good i mean you don't have to but parrying really makes it easier a lot easier once you learn once you get better at and my parries were kind of off point at that in in that stream like i was failing it left and right but like once you get parrying down a lot of things get easier you don't have to at all you i never parried until like this is like my maybe my 15th time playing through Dark Souls 1. I didn't parry until like I beat the game the first eight times because I played Dark Souls 1 all the way from my first playthrough to like the sixth or seventh playthrough within no other gaming and in, in, in between it barely. Right. I played Dark Souls a lot when I first got it. Thank you for the resub. Holy sh! That was loud. Thank you for the resub. Like, I played a lot of Dark Souls 1 and I'm still <laughs> shitty at parrying compared to some people and in Dark Souls 2 and 3. Like, I parried quite a bit in Dark Souls 2, trying to learn it, and I'm still bad. Dark Souls 3 parrying, I am ass. Dark Souls... Dark Souls 1 was... A l you have, like, that... I want to say parrying maybe... is a lot, a lot easier. Compared yeah, to I was going to say, you, you have, like, maybe two seconds for that window to parry. Uh, Bloodborne's got, like, around the same time. With, with Bloodborne's, the for, me, for some enemies, I'm fine with. A lot of the yeah. hunters I was fighting in the chalice, though I was not getting it. At yeah, all. and yeah, um, there's some there's some monsters too, soon, that too late, right on right. cue, just not just my finger wasn't hitting it fast enough. Yeah, I was failing it mad. I was yeah. I'm not good at parrying in Bloodborne, and to an extent, yeah. some enemies I'm fine with. Dark Souls two, the forgiving window is a little bit bigger than one, to, on some enemies where. Cause there's been times when the enemy actually hit me and then I hit the parry button and like I saw the sword go through me and then like a, like maybe like half a second after well, that you can, I parried you, them. And you can like, successfully what? parry and still take damage. Like it's, it's Oh no, I wasn't that taking partial, any It's that partial parry. Oh well, there's a few times I've seen it happen in Dark Souls 1 where you where you failed the parry but still get hit or you would get the parry and still take damage. It's it's the partial parry, but you can yeah, you can you can still fail it and not get, and, and and or you can still successfully do it, but your timing is slightly off. Yeah, it yeah. happens. But like I'm, I worked at it. Like I trained against the Black Knights in Dark Souls One in the kiln where they're infinitely respawn and they have five weapons. There's the spear, there's the axe, the the halberd, the sword, and stuff like that. They they really really train you very very well for a variety of different enemies. And I'm still bad at parrying some things, but, like, it, it really helps when it comes to them. Yeah. And I'm only trying to teach you to parry only because it will make it more fun, and it makes it easier to an extent. Like, some some enemies, you'll learn to parry them, and then they'll no longer be a threat. Right. Like, yeah, the no, I, I... in the beginning, like, I parry the hell out of them. Yeah. Dang. 900 damage and it Quinn, does the final boss. I parry the crap out of him. Yeah, I remember that. And I um, fucking wrecked him. And I, f yeah. while yeah, he's easy for that, and a lot of people think he's one of the easiest bosses. He's still a tougher fight m than most final bosses of any of the Souls games, I except for the Cinder. He... Soul of Cinder is the one of the best final bosses in any Souls. But like, yeah. parrying Gwyn is fun. It's just fucking hilarious. But you don't have to. You, you can just sit there and just say, fuck it. But I just find, I, it, I find it fun. Right. Can I give you a secret? Huh. The Tigrex, um, if you look at his, not his A set, but his B set. So the Tigrex, uh, it's the Tigrex of Helm B. The beta set, yeah. The beta set. Um, okay, if you look, it says Tigrex Essence, and it says free meal secret. What about so it? with with the with the free meal, um, it raises the maximum level of the free meal. Um, I found out something about that the other day. Um, there's a guy I watch on YouTube that does Monster Hunter World. He also does Rise, and he explains more of the behind the scene mechanics of the game that the game doesn't explain. With the free meal secret, it's not just 
a meal that you eat at the ca uh, canteen, cantina, whatever. It's um, if you're on the battlefield and you drink a mega potion with the free meal secret. If you have if you have three pieces of the Tigrex essence armor on, it's a seventy five percent. I think it's just three pieces. It's seventy five percent. Or it, oh no, I'm sorry. It's fifty percent. If you have all five pieces, it's a seventy five percent. It's a seventy five percent chance with his whole armor set that when you drink a mega potion, you won't consume it. And he did a test with it. He had the whole. He had. He had three pieces on, and he just went to a random level, and he just kept drinking his mega potions. With just three pieces, he got, I think he got like 20-something mega potions from just having the 10. But when he had the full set, and he did all five pieces, and he was drinking the mega potion, he got 48 mega potions that, like, he just kept, he could literally just sit there, and he just kept drinking the mega potion over and over and over. And like it, it won't be used. And his armor's not bad though, because the helmet gives, gives you attack boost and an plug. attack boost. Yeah, he also gives. Speed and if you look at the, and yeah, oh, yep. And his he's got speed eating earplugs, and it's got attack boost. And if you look and those at the gem uh, slots, yeah. So if you want to farm him for a little bit, I'm totally cool with that. So I mean, that's just one thing we can farm. No, we can farm him for stuff. I mean, I want to get all the arm. I want to eventually get every armor. But yeah, I got two. Oh, of yeah. I got two of his parts: his helmet and his waist. I'm gonna combine his helmet now. Do you want to equip it now? Yes. And and it's, you said his waist you bought. Yeah, his waist gives three slots alone. Yeah, I bought. I got his waist and I got his helmet. That Sweet. gives me. Yeah. The, um, atta so that, the attack boost and earplugs, so... Yeah, so someone says that if you want to build where you don't really have to worry about running out of items as much, um, it'll save you items in the long run. So, like, you know how, like, me and you have to keep going back to the camp to go get more mega potions? This will actually prevent us from doing that, so we have more time in the battle than we would going out. And he's, I guess, like, the... When you upgrade the armor and everything, it's really good. That's what the guy said. The guy pretty much called this the new Valhazic armor. Meaning like it's got like good regeneration and everything on it. Through just drinking potions. So Yeah, that's why I wanted to get rid of the Tigrix because I just thought a hey, new stuff. <laughs> Tigrex, what do I want to put on you? You already got an attack boost on here. What's what am I sitting at? I'm at I'm at attack boost seven already with this. So my attacks bumped out. So I need what's enduring? Extend the duration of some item effects. Well, I don't care about that. Expert jewel, fortitude jewel. Increases attack by 10% and defense by 15% with each use. Oh, I don't want that. Every time I hate I hate that. Every time you faint. Yeah. Ooh, I like that though. Friendship slash evasion jewel. So it's got evasion, but it also has friendship jewel. Where Items affect nearby allies with 33% of their efficiency. So if I use a mega potion, you should get some of that. I'll take it. I don't know what's worse is gonna happen. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh my god. You do well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love that though. That was like one of the best things about how that was. It just you do well. <laughs> And then, to me, I remember playing Budokai, and every time you hit Nappa, I, I don't know if he was saying blimey or what he was saying. It sounded like he was saying mommy, though. Like, you'd hear yeah. me, mommy! It's blimey! <laughs> yeah. That's what he says, blimey, right? Yeah, blimey! Or Trunks says, Gorg! Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, I thought that was funny though, because you just like, oh, I mean, and then, like, but like when I was younger, you know, you don't pick up on it, because I didn't even know blimey was a word back then, and I just, I was like, why are you calling for your mommy? <laughs> <laughs> mommy! Oh god, no, mommy. I can't, now I can't okay. hear that. Nope. <laughs> Prevent knockbacks and other retractions to small damage. Produce not. Tripping is reduced to a knockback. Increases some insect extractable effects. Uh, prevents knockbacks and tripping. Increases some. Yeah, okay. I don't know what to use. Attack that hit weak spots have ten percent increase infinity with an extra number of wounded parts. Okay, destroyer jewel, KO jewel, flawless jewel. Uh, well, what do I have? Oh, I need medicine jewels on this. That's what I need. Uh, 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 speeds healing of recoverable damage. I don't care about. Yeah, maybe. Yep. Shit. Shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, okay, there we go. Madison. Madison. Don't forget to bring a towel. <laughs> All right, let's see. How do I look? Okay, recovery up. Oh, health boost. Oh, shot. Oh, shit. All right. Full. Oh, okay, I only need a slugger and stamina thief, but I have full attack boost, earplugs, and I'm going to switch my charm to part breaker now. So I have full part breaker stuff now. None. So I'm gonna be. I also have full tool specialist, which ain't bad. Can I? Hold on. If I change my, if I, if I change my charm. So if I change my charm, my earplugs are level four, meaning I would just have to use one thing for earplugs. So if I were to use earplugs on, <laughs> I mean that would bring my attack boost down to six, uh, but I really don't. Six is okay. I mean six, six is six is better than. I mean I was running none for a while, so. Yeah, sticks better than that. Alright, where's my earplugs? No, I just need a normal earplug, earplug, earplug. This one. Use, use. Nope, I can't use that one. Ah, oh, it's a three slot. It's a three slot. Earplugs, okay. Earplugs, defense is five. Recovery up, heartbreaker, health boost, okay. I need to get rid of this and put vitality here. Now that should give me health boost, recovery up, fortify, evade window. Okay, I, I like upgraded a bit of my armor, so my helmet is maxed, and my waist cloth, my waist is up another level. So I just need spirit vein gems to augment it, to upgrade it past its limit, so I can upgrade it further. Nice. All right, my helmet is maxed. Bang. 146, and my waistband is maxed okay good good yes cool all right well let's see what can we do all right done all right smelty mr smelly actually i'm gonna save this build because this is going to be I have blink, right? I have blink one somewhere. 202, 178, 160. I'm gonna use 162. So we'll do that. 162 is the new stuff. Okay, so then 163 I'm going to put for my Castrostrophe light. Uh, uh, uh. I remember when I first played this game and I got Pissed because I stupidly put um I st I stupidly put um my uh thing um I was oh I was setting something up 
and I was I went down and you know where it says like sell equipment yeah yeah oh yeah um, I thought I I thought I clicked on set decorations but I went to sell equipment and I clicked I clicked a on like I think it was like a helmet I had it was when we first started it was a bone helmet and I clicked yes you know and it was like, do you really want to sell this? But I didn't read it. I just thought it said, do you want to set decorations for this armor? And I said, yes. And then I said, it was gone. I'm like, wait, where'd they go? <laughs> mm -hmm. I was so distraught. And I was like, oh no, what did I do? Yeah. All right. Ugh, if we're going to go fight Tigrex, I'm going to bring my little insect blade. I'm going to fly around and smack him in the head. To craft 15 I'll take it pitfall trap okay so I need trap tools I can buy those from that guy all right yeah it's nice to have the whole weekend off and just yesterday I, yesterday I relaxed and then uh, we went shopping and I bought um I bought a what did I buy Oh, I bought a, I bought a cool little speaker. Um, it's a waterproof speaker. It's uh, a little blue thing. Um, I'm gonna bring that to work because it's waterproof, so I can like spray it with water and stuff while I'm cleaning. So that's cool. And then I bought a for the Nintendo Switch. I got the uh, the Joy-Con Charge Tower. Oh, nice. Yeah, because I got four I got four Joy Cons, and so it charges four at a time because. Uh, like when we play um, Mario Party and Mario Kart and stuff, it's nice to have controllers that are charged. But I like the Switch. I think it's a great little system. Yes, it is. For being as small as it is, it got great graphics, though. I just wish they would have changed the camera in Super Mario 64. Yeah, Sunshine's got on my nerves somewhat, too. I don't feel that. Wait, this Sunshine camera is the same as GameCube? It hasn't changed. It's it's a port, so the games haven't changed uh, any at all. Graphic-wise, they, they, like, up, upscaled it, but it, it's, yeah. it has not changed. The camera still will fuck you in all three of them. Great. Fantastic. But it, I, just Mario 64 just hasn't aged well. No. Sunshine I don't like... is the main reason I bought that. And I love Sunshine. Always. I bought it because after March it wasn't going to be available anymore. No, I mean they're still good. I like Mario 64. I just I just couldn't yeah. really get back into it. Well, yeah, I, I I play it on my computer and I'm like so I guess it's the fact that like on my computer I'm so far into it. Uh I think I have like 80 stars. I'm, you know, I'm on my way to 120, so I get Yoshi, and I'm like, oh, it's great, and I'm moving on, but to start over again, and you're just like, ah, oh, all this all over again. And then I went to go do, I went to go do that level. Uh, I know you don't, you you get lives like all the time. It's the the level with the hat. Yeah. Um, the it's the invisible level. It's after you drain the outside, you go in that little square. And then you gotta like, you slide down. Then there's two lives you can get. I'm going after the red coins, and I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I, I have I have all of them. I get I get to the last part where the elevator goes up, and you have to jump over onto the platform where the blue button is. Mm -hmm. And I jump over, and the stupid thing goes up and smacks me and takes me right back down, and I fell. And I'm like, oh. I was like. Guess what? I got to go all through that all over again. Yeah, I'm trying to 100% sunshine. And uh, one of the secret stars is a like, it's like a water slide like thing. And you gotta wa ride a lily pad, and you gotta spray to move your character at certain angles and stuff. And you eventually start going so fast that you can't really 
control your movement. And uh, the lily pad will disintegrate. So the more you hit it, the more you bump it against walls, it disintegrates faster. And the water is insta-death. And I have to collect uh -huh. red coins to get the star. Hey, great shot. What's up? Headed back to dinner, but I'll be tuning in soon as I'm back. Hey, thank you for the 60 total bits. Thank you, sir, for the bit drops with 20 more. Love you, bro. Have a good rest. Have a good dinner. and Looking forward to having you back, my friend. Yeah, that, that star is a pain. Not only that, getting into it, you need Yoshi. I'm sure there's like a secret yeah. way into it, but I haven't found it yet. But you need to get Yoshi. You need to have him eat. Getting getting Yoshi and Sunshine, is, to me, is harder than the 64 version. And you need to eat so you can, because his health drains and he dies after that. So you, you got to right. jump over boats and stuff because he'll die in instant water or he'll die if he runs out of stomach fluid. And then you need to spray a warp a pipe with his stomach fluid in order to get into that secret area so every time you die you gotta every time you run out of lives you gotta go back wait for a bunch of boats go on a little island wait for another boat manage to land on that jump on a platform get a uh, it's just a pain. i'm sure there's another thing around i think i think there's a I yeah. i'm sure there is but i just haven't found it I mean, I'm sure there's a way around. It seems like they would put a way around, but yeah, no, I. I think Blackfire I told me there was, but I haven't found it. Yeah, I remember Sunshine, and I remember her just Yoshi. I remember I I I didn't know I had to like keep Yoshi fed and everything, and then he, he died, and I'm just like, wait, I'm like yeah, what? Yeah. And then I was like, so oh, fuck. Yeah, because there's an island you jump on before the second boat that has a tree that spawns fruit infinitely, which is nice. Yeah. I didn't know that until afterwards, and I was like, great. Um, but now there's the... Um... <laughs> Might make you put a hat on when I get back, Susan. Take care, man. Have a good rest of your dinner. And I'm looking forward to that. Hats off. <laughs> but yeah, no, I feel you on the Sunshine's really good, though. I enjoyed it a lot. I was also just trying to get everyone. I love the story of Sunshine. 100, 100 coin stars, red, red coins, blue coins... The blue coins are, oh my god, blue coins don't even get. I hate blue coins. <laughs> like the last, the last star I need for the boom Manch or the not the yeah the boom mansion one, which is a hundred coin star, and I just I get up to ninety nine and can't find one more coin, so I have mm -hmm. to figure out which mission I can get a hundred coins. Yeah. Uh, I remember, uh, like the whole story of Sunshine is cool. I love I the like device it. you have and everything. Blood. Get neat. Mario. That and Baby Bowser calls Peach Mama. Uh huh. I also like that it it kind of tells you the backstory that Flood was created by Egad, the guy who made Luigi's vacuum from Luigi's Mansion, which yeah. is cool. which is cool. So he becomes like a a canon Mario character instead of just some weird side game that Luigi's Mansion seems to always been for me, even though it's probably canon within the Mario universe. I don't. I don't know. I Mario, like Luigi. or, uh, Luigi's Mansion Three is actually pretty fun. I have to, I have yet to beat it, but that's another little fun small game that you would enjoy. I believe it's also two player. Have you uh, eaten yet? I haven't. No. I don't know if you can eat at the arena. I mean, you can, but I'll eat here. So I think, I think, cause in, I believe they introduced Gooigi, which has moments where you control him to get to secret areas that Luigi can otherwise access and I believe it is I believe you can also have your kid control that if I recall correctly oh. yeah I believe it's multiplayer slightly not like oh your kid can play with you non-stop but yeah, there's cool. there's moments where you can control a Guigi which is there was uh, one game for there's one game for 64 I or PS2 it was PS2 or 64 where you, um, you can play with your son or daughter. It was co-op. <laughs> but the only thing they can do is control the camera. Uh, and, uh, yeah, trying to run through a level while your son's spinning the camera around on you. <laughs> that's what I hate about semi-co-op stuff. That's how Mario Galaxy was. Your second friend can control the little 
star icon that you use to collect the bits. That's all they can do. Uh, for um, Pokemon Go, they have a second character that can come in, and you can, you can, they can move around, and they can also throw Pokeballs with you for combining into a Super Pokeball, which gives you greater catch chance. But that's it. They don't do any other action. So if you're if you ever get Eevee Go or Pikachu Go, you can walk around with your kid and they can play as a second character. But they and they can help you throw Pokeballs and then you if you time it right at the same time, you'll get like a super Pokeball that helps increase the chance of catching a Pokemon, but that is all they do. They don't make any battle inputs. Which is dumb. They should have made it so you can do dual battle, but maybe in the future. That's how I was gonna say. No, there is even, no, there I, is that's, no that's double battle. Real. No. Oh no, but that's one thing I wish that they always added was I, I like you know how like in um which game was that? I believe it was uh, X and Y or I'm, it's probably in sooner ones, but for me it was X and Y to experience it with the double battles. Yeah, it's definitely sooner, but yeah. Double well, battles. I, I never played. Oh no, I'm sorry. Um, Wait. Oh, uh, Emerald. Oh yes, it was. It was Ruby and Sapphire. Sorry, it's been a while since I played Gen Three. Yeah, yeah it was. I, it was Ruby and Sapphire. Well, no, I, yeah, because I just remembered when I played uh, when I used to play Emerald uh, on my computer for the emulator. I just remember the uh, the dude that you team up with um, to fight against Team Rocket. Yes, it was. Gen it wasn't because it was in Fire Red and Green as well, which came out after. That's right, it was. Yes. And Black and White introduced rotation battles three-way fights. X and Y, I believe, introduced the... No, it wasn't. Uh, I could be wrong. I know they also introduced uh, reverse battles, where it's basically anything that's weak against something and it's not weak to it any longer. So enemies that were resistant to something or immune oh, would be the way yeah. you defeat it. Yeah, well, those were wonky a little bit. <laughs> and then rotation battles were dumb. Because your Pokemon would, you would do one thing with something else, and then your Pokemon would rotate. Instead of just like, oh, your Pokemon did one attack, your other Pokemon did another attack, your other Pokemon did one, did one, did one rotate, and then you would have to wait for a certain amount of turns for that other Pokemon to come back. Yeah. Look at ass! Almost killed me already. Oh, I'm right. He's coming down. Yeah, um... But no, I, 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 like, ever since playing those games, so, like, Emerald, I always wish, you know, I'm like, you have online for training, like, you, you with the link trading and stuff, I'm like, you can, you can trade online, you can link trade, I'm like, why can't you play online, because I'm like, you can do double battles, like, you know, there's well, so there's... many times when you team up with an NPC, it's like, like, your friend coming. Well, there's the X and Y's Battle Mason or thing that allows you to... I think it's a lot battle, but it's got to be, I think, close. I think you got to be it is. in the it same house. Oh, yeah. So your son would need a second 3. You would need a second 3DS. Yes. I was more worried about talking. I was more worried about but, like you. We have No, I'm just saying, like, if you... That that would not be able to be played with me, if I recall correctly. Because I've always wanted to do that with Irving or whoever, but I never got that to do like, yeah, the only way for us to play Pokemon together would be Pokemon. Like, actually see each other, watch each other fight battles, but we won't be able to participate in battles together. No, I just like fight for walking around together. That's the whole cool. Pokemon MMO, I think, is. I think I would. Actually, who knows? We haven't played in so long, we might have co op battles. I would like to just play that. We would just be able to walk around the entire game capturing his, all the Pokemon together. Stop that. Well, I will tell you one thing though, this guy's got pretty good defense on his armor. God damn it! Come on, dude! Go away a sec! Oh, he's battering me. His charge is on. Thank you. Oh, I ain't. I didn't do anything. Yeah, he did. No, I didn't. Yeah, he did. What did I do? You launched me up in the air. No, you launched me up in the air and I landed on him. You're already good. You're already good enough. It was nice. Alright, he's coming down. Oh, I never seen him do it. Uh, uh, that's fine. 
I, I, at least when you hit me, I fly in the air and then, like I can still keep attacking. When Supply was attacking me, I would just stop moving instantly. And I'm like, what? Yeah, that, what that's you? why I had to sit there and tell him stop attacking the same part as me. Like I know it happens with me and you, but I really. Well, I I try to I try to watch where you're at, and stay away from you, so I don't. At least, you. yeah, at least we know that. Supply does. That's understandable. But he was he wasn't even like sometimes I'll notice that I'm hitting him. It's like all right, I gotta stop. He I guess did. He right. didn't know. I'm not trying to get mad at him. It's just like, can you stop? Him? Yeah. I mean, yeah. you guys well, were both doing it. We were all doing it to each other. The uh, when we last played, or we were all hitting each other, and that's understandable. That's, like I told him, the only reason why you're able to hit each other is to knock each other out of stun and cooperate with attacks when you send your friend flying. That, that's the only reason. That, that's there. That's why you don't hurt each other. I know I hate this guy. Don't feel bad. He is... Dude, he, he reminds me of the Anjanath when we first fought him. He hit so hard, and we're just like, what? <laughs> I remember when we first fought the internet that we both thought, oh, he's exhausted. I remember when we first fought the internet. Yeah, I remember when we first fought the internet that me and you both were like, how are we gonna kill this thing? Attacks, but he's, I'm getting hit no, more times has... when I'm recovering. Yeah, no, his attacks are wonky. I'm that also guy is bad weird. at it. <laughs> it's really annoying. I want to get better at dodging, but now when I'm attacking constantly. I'm not gonna sit there and pull a one time, two times, three times, and attack the one. But I'd rather take all the hits. I just want to run over. And half the time, though, I'm bad at dodging because I dodge in the wrong direction because controller. Does that to me a lot. There, uh, this happened to me. There's, there's times when I pull left. To, I'll pull left to dodge, and then my character goes to the right. So yeah, that's how I die a lot there. I rolled backwards instead of forward, or whatever. Oh, I've done it. Um, I was fighting somebody, you know, the in the forest, where those three guys are. Yeah. Yeah. In the in the forest, you have those guys, and they they can run off the platform. Oh, those. The the, 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 the the human noises, guys. Yeah. Yeah. There was there. I was fighting them, and I, I was just moving around. Um, but I stood. I instead of going down to the spot, I kind of just stood on the platform in front of them. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll, and they're gonna go right around me because I'd be funny in my head. And I accidentally rolled to the left instead of the right, and I rolled myself off of the cliff. Yeah. And I was like, oh great. That's how I died a recent stream. Like, I was trying to dodge that guy's lightning, which is something I'm good at. I oh, shouldn't when have died fell, yeah. when I got hit by the, the stupid pendulum. Like, I mistimed my dodge entirely and yeah. rolled to one of the sides and got hit off. Like, I was also kind of Like, I'm actually good at that. Like, I was tanking it out of fear of that. Because I wanted to roll... You're supposed to roll through the guy's attacks and then run... And then run to dodge his light, uh, to run past up to the guy and attack him before his lightning can hit you. And that's how you effectively dodge it and avoid it. Because tanking is fine and good if you have 100% magical block. I don't. I don't think I don't. Uh, I, I, I don't think I'll ever make a build with like a magic build. Uh, I don't really like magic. I'll make my character magic with my physical damage, and I'll use some magic. Dark Souls 2 is where I primarily use buffs. Oh yeah. They, I still they won't use buff. magic. The uh, only time I use magic is buffs. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, Dark Souls 2, that is the one where it's got that, uh, the crystal, the crystal, it looks like, uh, it looks like crystal. One, one like and three has crystal, but, yeah, one and three also have crystal. It's just, two just has the fastest leveling. Yeah. So but I that's usually the one just... I remember you were, when me and you played too, you were like, you want this weapon, and I'm like, why? I'm like, I hate magic, and you're like, trust me, you're gonna want this, and then I was like, oh, this is cool. Uh, the, yeah, the fire weapon, magic weapon, dark weapon, 
crystal magic weapon, whatever. They're all good buffs. They're not actual magic usage. And I don't use magic at all. Except for hexing, and that's when I fight Giant Lord. That's it. That's the only yeah. time. Oh, yeah. I, I've done that with Giant Lord. I've used hex on him, or I use the other one. Um, I use Pyromancy. Pyromancy's fine. That's not considered technically magic. It was in the lore. It used to be. Until... <laughs> The Witch of Izalith created all the fire demons and Pyromancy became separated because it used to be controlled through wands through the lore of Dark Souls and then it, it, it changed and later became Pyromancy. That's why the one female is known as the godmother of Pyromancy. The guy that you rescue who sells you the Pyro Glove or gives you the Pyro Glove, he's the guy that basically was trained and gave rise to all the Pyromancy. Pyro Cause... Oh, whoa, whoa, quit yourself. Yeah, I know he's pissing me off right now. I'm stunned, I'm stunned, I'm stunned, I'm stunned. I'm stunned. Can you not? I'm stunned. They missed you. You can't click it, though. Good. I was right in front of him. I was worried. All he had to do was charge me, and I was dead. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to hit him to get to take the aggro off. Or take the aggro off you, like when you're trying to heal. I was doing that for supply. <laughs> Except, uh... I was trying to do that when Supply was trying to learn how to capture, but the dude doesn't pay attention to the fucking map. Can you stop? I tried telling him before, I was like, you gotta watch. I said, if you see an exclamation point, that usually means it's going to sleep or eat. I said, and if you see the death, the skull symbol, that yeah, it's dying. dying. If you see the mouth icon, it's slugged, meaning you drained enough stamina from him, and he's breathing heavy and drooling, or he... Yeah. Oh, well, no, not eating. Say or he, but normally that's just timing. And it's fine, he'll learn, but he's gotta play it. That's what I was saying though, like the, when he's on the beginning of the game though, he could uh, go through it himself. It's not that yeah. hard. Like chocolate chip is learning too. He doesn't know all of it either. I'm sure he doesn't know all of those icons because I was helping I helped play the other day with him actually. I didn't stream it because he wanted to chat on PS4 because he didn't have a computer to use Discord. And he streamed three times. And he fought Diablos. And he actually beat a Diablos himself. Unlike Supply who was freaking the fuck out. And I get it, Diablos is tough. Oh yeah. Like, I mean, me and him Diablos were me, me and him day. were fighting things and I was helping him out. He didn't know about like the capturing mechanic, but that's understandable. Like, he probably that's just, it's definitely his first muscle. Dude, so thank fly. you. But like he's taking my tips and is using axes because that's a comfortable weapon for a first timer. I was. I, would, I think I yeah. Assume. Like yeah, I gave him uh, like, well, if you want a good weapon that's definitely comfortable, try out the axe. Then if you don't like it, swap to something else. I also told him that the dual swords are very good. Because he said he likes the axe because it's not fast, but also not like extremely slow. No, the the axe, the axe and the charge blade, um, they have really good flow. I guess. Oh, yeah, he was, he was using the axe, and he was doing good. Kicking some ass. And I, and uh, well, if you ever want to join me in Zero, feel free to let me know. His girl, his fiance actually played one, and she's beaten the game. So, she said she'd also join if uh, she ever had the chance. So we have potential. Yeah, my, my guy Sergio um, is going to play in uh, Overwatch. And I'm like, come on, dude. I'm trying to get him. I mean, I, he likes multiplayer games, that's fine. I mean, he's younger. He's like a jerk. But, uh, I'm not going to expect everybody to just stop it. But, like, I would just, I would like if Supply would put some more time into things to get better. Like, like no, you're on his phone? Yes, that too. Like, I'm not gonna sit there and always be there to help him on Sekiro. Half my right. stream, I'm sitting there talking to him, telling him how to get better at a fight. Yeah, and half the time, he still is not, like, his playstyle with Sekiro is getting a murder. Like, he needs to play it block, 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 find an opening, attack twice, block, 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 block. Learn their damage, learn their attacks, 
If you have to dodge via a grab, jump backward. It's still gonna be... Can, it's annoying to dodge to get grabs sometimes, but, like, yeah. When it comes to Sekiro, you've gotta... Your playstyle's gotta be more blockers. The only time... Yeah, you gotta focus on damaging them somewhat to get their posture to not fill up as bad, but that's when you find openings to hit them. I think he swings too much. He, he attacks too much. He, he's trying to damage them. And I feel like he's focusing more on trying to actually kill them versus posture kill them. Or at least he's doing more damage than he needs to. Yeah, it's the same thing like all the Souls games. Like, you do more damage when you parry than when you posture kill them. But and, or backstab, or any of those, yeah. Yeah, and because I remember when I first did Dark Souls, I did the same thing. I was like, I'm going to kill this guy because I'm going to do this, this, and this. And then I kept dying. And of course I quit. I, I mean, I stopped to too once, but it wasn't more out of anger. It was just like, okay, I don't know where I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. But then I came back and beat it. So, like, yeah, you learn. And I just feel like Supply is taking some of my tips, but not actually applying them. And I get it. It's it's a lot to throw at you. Like, I'm gonna... If you were to uh, play Sekiro by yourself, I can sit there and watch you stream it and be like, okay, for this guy, you want to learn his attack. You want to be in his face constantly. Because the game... The, yes. But, like... I just don't know how that's going to really work too well on you learning, to be honest. Like, I want to co-op it. If you're down for co-oping your first time, I'm fine with that. I just don't know how well you're going to learn it. I do want to see you actually play it, too, for yourself as well. I want to actually gonna try to help you get good at it. Because Sekiro is one of the best soul-based, like, all right, well, it's about one of the best games made by Microsoft. Wow. No, I was going to get it for the, uh, I was going to buy it for my PS4, too, because... But like, no, I'm down for a first playthrough. It's going to take more than one playthrough to get good anyway. And I, I, I understand. So, like, I want to be able to help you, too. Because you, the game rewards you, like Bloodborne, for being aggressive, but being defensively aggressive. You want to parry more than you want to attack. There's, like, maybe a couple of times where you want to attack twice, and maybe once. And if you're lucky, you can attack a third time. But I always say attack twice. No more than that. Because that's when an opponent's gonna freaking come back and counter. Then you want to continue to go on. Once the enemy's about close to half health, you want to stop attacking. Because by the time that happens, your po their posture is gonna break. You can eventually get their posture to break. Because if once they're at that, if they're at full health or barely any damage, their posture is gonna recover like, like fast as fuck. So you do need to damage them, but that's it. So you gotta, because one, and once you learn their attacks, you can beat them in minutes. Like, I beat Genichiro recently on my fourth or my fifth playthrough in, like, less than five minutes. Because I'm in his face. I am literally blocking him. I know all of his attacks. It's just a matter of time before I, I get back the skills that I have. And, it's, and yes, Granite Supply has made a lot of progress. And he's done better against certain fights than I have. I'm not going to deny that. He's done well. He's in... He's actually nearing the end of the game. But he struggled on fights that shouldn't be... Oh, like the butterfly. Too. Yes! She's tough! I get that! But he beat the drunk before her! Who I suffered against. Someone who was probably the bane of my existence my first playthrough. And he beat I him! I remember watching you fight him for the first time. He was rough! I got to Butterfly, I died a handful of times, but she was a joke compared to that. Dude, I even tell him, like, Supply, you wanna, you want, he wants to do the Shura ending, which is the shortest ending where you face Emma and Old Man Isshin, and, and, and not in his prime. The ending I got where I fought Isshin in his prime, that's a fun fight, but I find Isshin as an old man harder, because I've only fought and beat him once, and he wants to do that ending, which is the ending where you don't fight Owl. And I'm just like, okay. Either one of those two are going to wreck your day if you continue this the way you play. And, like, I get it, he wants to finish the game. And I don't really care what any he goes for, it's fine. I just, just he needs to learn. Otherwise, he's not going to ever. He's going to quit on Ishii, and he's going to sit there and have to fight Emma over and over and over again. And he's going to think, I'm going to go grind for skills. He says that a lot. It's just like, dude, you know, you're, you're not losing that. Also, they're not helping you. You act like you're leveling. Even getting more health and damage up is not going to help you unless you actually learn their attack targets. 
Oh yeah, uh, Dark Souls, I mean, in Dark Souls, you, even in Dark Souls, you can have 99 health and it still ain't gonna make you immortal. No, Jackass, I couldn't do anything, I was healing. Like, no, no, crappy won't. dragons. Oh, what I was gonna say earlier, because you mentioned the Diablos. This thing is like the engine with the Diablos and mixed with pickles. Because he just constantly runs. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I just gotta. I, I'm, I've given up on dodging it. I'm getting fucking fucked by it, but I'm not good at it. Never was. And then he dodges oh, backwards while I'm attacking. I gotta figure out. Oh, yeah. It's not like I'm gonna run out of my heat. I, I, I have so many of them. I go to dodge and I actually roll, but I still get hit by it. Oh my god. Can you stop? Yeah, right there. I put down one for you. Since that's not even the other one. Well, he was right there, so I was kind of delaying it. I was gonna get hit if I could. Oh. He just seems to want to fucking hit me every time I'm here. It's not a problem, oh, I'm bad at dodging him, I get that. But I've learned how to dodge a lot of the other monsters much well, much better. Like, Nergi's not too bad. I still get wrecked by getting hit by Nergi and the other Elder Dragons. This guy is just constantly battering me, though. Fucking charges are getting annoying, and that's what I hate about the monsters. Like, I don't mind him moving, but it's when they charge back and forth like that. I can't even hit this guy. He's constantly hitting me. I go to hit him, and he moves. I'm fine with that, but he constantly does the charging, and that I don't deal with. Oh yeah, he charges, you dodge, and then he turns around and charges the other way while you're still in the animation. You're like, oh, great. Just, I've, Monster Hunter's just not a game I was great at. It never will be. And that's why I never really beat the others, because it's just goofy and it feels just so awkward. Like, the combat in the older ones are fun, but it's just, it's dodging is not something I'm great at. Never will be. Can I please stop getting hit? Can you please just stop? Why are you, you... Half this fight, you weren't even moving that much. Or at least the way you are now. Now it's every time I get close, you are dodging me, and then you are jumping back and far. Every time. And he's hit me like four times before I can even hit him once. I used up almost all of my heals because of this. There he goes again. There's gotta be a way I can attack and get out of here. I don't remember why I ever did. I never. Here there is. I don't even care. How do they expect people to really, really be great at shit like this? No, oh, it's like I was telling you with the whole Monster Hunter world, like, look what they did with the Iceborne. They just made the monsters hit super hard, and they're like, okay, it's harder. And that's not what people ask for. People ask for, you know, new mechanics, like, you know, give us new dodge mechanics. I'd really rather really really not have new mechanics. I'd rather really just have them. I don't really care for a lot. There's a lot of mechanics I don't like. I don't like the I only like, used it back I, there because I... Once I find a weapon I'm comfortable with, I barely use other things. That's why I always make the same build in Dark Souls. I probably will try to get all the weapons, but I probably will not. There's most likely a 99% chance that I will not. Because I don't ever want to use nothing other than the axe at this point. I don't really care. I'm not... Oh my god, can you please? 
Like, I'm trying to fucking heal and it won't... Why is it constantly doing this? Like, he wasn't doing this charging shit so much before. Now he's just all over the place and it's getting annoying. Like, I can barely even do anything to him because he's constantly moving. And I don't know why I'm complaining about that. Because monsters are gonna move, and that's not the problem I'm having. The problem I'm having is that he's constantly doing the worst type of movement. Dashing. Like, that's all he's doing. He would sit there and s move a bit, just not dash! I'm gonna die. One thing I hate about this bridge, Diablos. All he does is dash. Yeah, that's why I said this guy likes the Diablos for the moment. Ah. Nope. I just completely tried to roll out of his out of his dodge area and he hit me with his back foot. And I do dodge and I get hit by his foot. They hit the radius well, so granted I granted I dodged <laughs> hit the hill. Radius again? I don't know what happened. I've been here just looking stuff up, I'm gonna try to push play games and I do another monster. Going alright, getting wrecked by a fucking dinosaur. Because my dodging in this sucks. I'm not great at dodging Monster Hunter. Normally, did I ever really not try working on dodging Monster Hunter? But some enemies I've gotten used to, to where I can dodge more reliably than this. He's also a new fight for me, but he's just kept doing an annoying dash and forth, back and forth. Ran me out of heals because of it, and I'm not. I'm busy attacking, so I can't really dodge out of that animation. But it's going well. How have you been, man? <sighs> yeah, I need to really learn this fight, but even when I know his moves, I'm not gonna be able to dodge it. <laughs> I'm not good. At no, he's got. He, like I said, what to do? He's got wonky dodges because I went to go dodge and his back foot kept hitting me. His Problem back is, feet. I'm, I'm better at dodging a through a monster. You try to dodge outside of that, you're gonna get hit anywhere. Yeah. I grab some material. Where? Ooh. Ooh, a piece of candy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. I've dodged several times through like his wing and still got hit. I dodged several times through his legs and got hit by his foot. Like, there's monsters that I usually just dodge through them because it's how I usually fight big monsters. I am under them. Yeah. Uh, uh, with pickle, like to dodge pickle, I usually jump between his legs. Like it would have been better if they gave you more iframes. Yeah. Well, rolls. Well, well, the, there, rolls, there, I don't there believe, are. rolls, I don't believe, have eye frames. And yeah. if there are, I get hit before, like, so I don't really ever pay attention to that. It's the jumping that I usually know that gives you eye frames. Yeah, there is decorations. Um, eh, it's useless to me. Yeah, because I'm not good at dodging already. I don't want, I don't really, it, plus it's just a waste for me. I want to be a damage, I'm the damage guy. I want to have more damage. I want to be able to stun monsters, break monsters, parts. I don't care about having more health, so I'll never use that. That Unless it's an ability on a gear, on armor. Like, I, I just like to be damaged. That's all it is for me. Oh, all right, I'm gonna give me something to drink one sec. Debating if I want to buy Resident Evil Remake, the first one, for the computer. Get back into Classic Wild. Get what, uh, play whatever you feel. Yeah, I've wondered that for a while now with mine, but they're already in the other release, so I'm not going to sit there and stress myself. I spent a good few years missing and wondering, and I still miss them time to time, but it happens. But I'm here for you. I still wonder if I ever have a chance again, but time to time, I see that they do better without me, so I don't worry about it. 
Well, as long as they're happy. I just don't want you to stress yourself out over it. That fight was fine, and then the second half was just him bashing back and forth. I couldn't even... I know I'm not great at dodging it, or in this game in general, but a lot of monsters I normally don't have a hard time uh, dodging at all. Whew. do that. Can't wait for the village to play the new multiplayer one. I forgot to remind you, look up Back for Blood. It's initial release date is June 18th this month. Yeah, I'll have to look for that. I can't be worrying about too many new games, otherwise I won't get the stuff that I need to get done. Uh, Back for Blood, that's the... New Left 4 Dead, right? Yeah. That Left 4 Dead kind of game I was telling you about? Yeah. Well, I just... I... I can buy it, I just don't know when I'll play it. Just because I don't want to focus on too many other new games. Now that Rise is out and other things, I'll just never get the stuff I want to get done. done. Yeah, and if me and you start playing Left 4 Dead, a new Left 4 Dead, you know what that's like. <laughs> I want to play that and more Left 4 Dead. Oh, but I'm saying if if we went back to our old ways, man, when Left 4 Dead first came out, we played that every day, all day long. Yes, and I would like to do more expert mode. <sighs> what can I make? I cannot make any. I need I need best blade razor wing. I need a tough claw. the pants. Oh. Alright, all right. I need uh, Tiger Hard Claw. I just need claw. Cortex, Vespoid, Razor Wing, and his, yeah, his Cortex in, the, in a wing. Wait, Vespoid? I have to get that from a different monster? It's a bug. That's what I was saying. Why? Because I bought the gloves and that's all I was able to buy. I just need one more tiger cortex and I can buy the boots. Now we have to farm a best point razor wing? I don't need... We gotta go and get a slinger shot ammo and shoot down some best points now. But you can't kill him. Or you can't, you can, but you can't destroy it. Right.
I have the resuscitate level one, which is the only thing for increased stamina or invasion of vulnerability time and reduce. I didn't even realize there was a lot of invasion of vulnerability because I always get hit when I dodge, so I don't know when that is. Unless it's this, just the jumping. That's what I thought I read. But that's the only time I ever see iframes anyway. Okay. So if there's, if there's iframes for rolling, I'm not good at that. And anyway, I'm still not good at telling when iframes are, even if I was never, if I'm never told what I, wh where iframes are, I'll never figure it out. Like, I'll just be, like, dodging attacks and not realize I'm iframing. That's why when I roll in Dark Souls, I don't realize I'm really iframing it. I'm just thinking I'm dodging it entirely. I don't know. If people can be like, oh, iframes, you get them from this, this, and that. Like, like how do you figure that fucking shit out? Like, I'm not good at that kind of stuff. I'm not, like, I just play games. I'm not good at the meta. Feel you on that? There's, there's a lot of stuff I don't understand when it comes to, like, certain games. They'll be like, get this build and this build, and I'm like, yeah, the what? I, I will not make specific builds. I make physical damage that is it yeah. I'm pure melee and I usually stick to the same shit because I like it not because I'm boring God. Mm. Oh God. There's a brute T Rex. Yay! A brute. Uh, there's a brute Tigrex. <laughs> what the hell do you mean a brute Tigrex? I want to fight that. Tempered and ruin or nerdy. <laughs> Let's do it right now. <laughs> I think he is weak to electric because if you look at his armor, it's sure what well, just is going down. Tastes like. What? Oh, I got a new bang. Oh, you, I thought you didn't like bang. No, I do. Yeah. Aftertaste. Oof. I did oh, not this like, one's good. I did not like bang at all. It's got a couple of good flavors. Um, I mean, I if you could find it. I just couldn't stand the aftertaste of that. Oh. No, I was gonna say, um, there's, they got new flavors at the Jewel by my house, um, it's delicious strawberry kiss, and, but it's aftertaste, it tastes like strawberries, so, 
That one's not bad if you like strawberries. Um, the one I'm drinking now is called Radical Skedaddle. Mm. And it tastes like Skittles. Not bad. No, aftertaste in general, I hate. Like, it can taste, oh, it can literally taste like the greatest thing, but it's aftertaste. Like, you don't like the lingering. Yeah. yeah. Especially for. Like. The taste of, like, strawberries or any of that, like, fruits and stuff. <laughs> like, real fruits? Yeah, that's fine. But, like. When you're drinking stuff that's supposed to be tasting like a real fruit, yeah, I don't. Artificial fruit flavoring, really. I don't know. I mean, I like Red Bull a lot, and I've been drinking a lot of that, and I never liked really energy drinks in the past at all. Hated it. I never tried a monster, and I just don't care to either. I'm getting addicted to caffeine. And it's gross. Hell, that was an extended uh, eye frame. I jumped because that was really early. My intent. Where's my mechanic where I can launch you into walls and make you attack other monsters? In one spot for long enough. Like, I don't mean stand still, just don't be charging back and forth! I'm close to him and he dodges, and starts launching himself. Like, I wish he would just chill long enough. Like, oh my. I'm literally gonna have to. Attack it lot. That sucks.
cover me with those ridiculous dude. that when I'm attacking Ding. and does that when I'm recovering right, so he's, he, he's like a mix with the Diablo fucking roll I am rolling I just hit the roll button his walk reminds me of the jogger. Can you not constantly just knock me down? I am recovering! Dude! Fucking... Of course, now you're stunned. And I am healing. Well, maybe if you didn't fucking constantly attack after me while I'm fucking doing something. Maybe if I was good. for that. I always try to dodge early so I can get under his mouth. like your dick broken asshole. get better as I do it more, but I'm never going to be able to knock out of the I'm just not good at these type of rush, 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 rush fights. Like, I should just... At least I'm not complaining. Compared to what I can, I don't feel like it's complaining. It's just... It's, it's, it's just a... It's like, what he's doing now is... Fucking ridiculous. Yeah, stupid, ridiculous. Like, I'm fine with monsters moving. They're going to move. I don't want them to stand still. I just don't want them to constantly charge back and forth. That's all. It's just never a fun thing for me when I'm constantly having to follow a monster. 
That was never a thing. I enjoy it. Having to constantly chase after a monster because they're constantly dodging the other side of the map. And then they charge you. And then they just repeat that. Why I was never good at Monster Hunter? Because I was never good at aiming. the natural ability of video playing video games. I don't. I don't get better at a lot of things. Either if I do or I don't. Like, I'll never get better at shooters. Or fighting games, no matter how much I play. I played Left 4 Dead for years, and my aim is still trash. I haven't played that in so long, so I can't play it with, with you. I remember I used to be able to one shot the witches, but not Look, I'm not good at hitting enemies, or, you know, zombies, or anything that's moving. Not, like, they don't have to be stationary, but when something is like. Moving to the side, I can never, I can't really ever hit it in the head. I am not good at headshots. That's why I aim for body shots a lot. That's why I've been uh, loot, like failing miserably on certain enemies in Half Life. They be, they be going to the side, and I'm, and I'm not able to hit them because I'm just never was really good at hitting enemies that are scraping. Some people can sit there and just, I don't know how people get better at shooting. I don't. Fighting games included. I don't. I can know the combos. I could just never pull them off in battle. Because I either do the wrong inputs all the time because of I'm bad when it comes to being put on the spot or when I'm fighting something. I'm also bad at getting things to when I'm being rushed or something's chasing me. I never can do anything. I always fail miserably. person in a fighting game is, uh, is fighting me, I can never pull off any AI or a person. I also am not the kind of guy who likes to practice because I don't have, I don't want to put in hours to practice because I don't want to play the game that much. I want to play a little bit, beat the game maybe, and that's it. If the game is fun enough, I will beat it, or, you know, put more effort into actually getting better, but... Not with the use of practice, though. My practice comes from playing the game's story or fighting against certain things. I don't like to take the time to practice. Then I'm just wasting time and I get bored. Unless there's a trophy involved. Or if it's like a mission thing where you beat the training and it's complete and you get something out of it. But I, I will never, I never, I like to get better as I play the game or not practice mode or whatever. That's boring. What use is it when it's not going So I can't memorize it by heart anyway. My memory is bad. So bad I can't memorize shit. Okay, can I not get hit every two seconds? Move. In this 
things just got done hitting me like five times in a row. We'd rather just constantly dead. Every time. Cover. I am covering. I am recovering. Can you please fucking go away? Nope. He's gonna go to you. Not to say you. <laughs> that is also annoying. When I'm, I'm getting. I get destroyed when I'm trying to get off and heal. Other things. It's like, God. Why is it that you fucking know? Like every time. Thanks. You stood still that whole time. The moment I used my stupid explosion you decided to move. And I don't want to rely on that jump dash every time. Never gonna move all down there. But no. Okay, now he's coming down. Good, I get to do this twice. Every time I go to fight with this guy, it comes 
gun next to me. But... I know. I feel like this first attempt on this arena battle is worse. Do that whirlwind, swirl with that. Yes. Slugged, so he sluggered, so he can take that anyway. Oh, like, Slugger! Like, I love stun monsters. Exhaust them, rather. <sighs> I always seem to dodge too soon, or not jump down. Because it never wants to pull off when I ask! Like right there. That time I didn't roll. Now I'm stunned. Oh no, I'm not. Oh, you had the stars? I don't know what those are. I don't know if it's. Not in tonight, not in our world, where it is. Hit this monster like once or twice anyway. I might as well. 